Here we go with more platforming. You better like platforming if you like this game. Otherwise, you'll get frustrated. Okay, this should be our final fight with Master Skull. I feel like he's a predecessor of Master Chief. Ah, ha, ah, ah. I got the Anish. Roll the 20 plus. Crit. Death to you, foul skeleton. With your shield and sword and pointlessness and ha! I love this item. You've got the hook shot. It's chain stretches long. Stretches long when you use it. Alrighty. Hook shot it is. Yes, the hookshot, as you know, is probably, like, always the funnest game in any Zelda game. It'll pretty much let us reach, like, almost everywhere. Except they're still gonna make us equip the rock's feather, because we can't jump. There we go. We should have access to pretty much the entirety of the dungeon. And also, these Cubone monsters are a lot easier to kill now, because you can steal their face. Yes, they're actually adorable on the inside. However, we have no mercy for them, seeing as how they caused us so much trouble earlier. Hook shots away! You got 200 rupees. You're ecstatic. I am too. Okay, um, now do we want to go... There isn't anything to do over here, is there? Ow. Actually, let's just check the map here. Wrong map. Let's check this map. Yeah, let's just go this way. Um, I really don't remember which way we want to go, but we're here. We might as well go this way. No, we don't want to do anything there. Ah, here we go. Yes, yeah, so with the hookshot, we now have the ability to pull the bridges down, allowing us to traverse onwards. Oh, we don't have a key? There actually hasn't been that many keys in this dungeon, surprisingly enough. Oh, but we can do this. You got the key! You can now open a locked door. Yay, locked doors. Those are actually arrows floating up there. The fairy arrows. I'm, uh... I guess, I guess they thought that maybe you would have the, uh, bow at this point of the game. It's a whopping 980 rupees. We definitely do not have the bow. This is also a dungeon with two mini-bosses. Let us now encounter the spider monster. Not quite sure about this one, but uh, we'll do our best. Or that's not a spider, those are more like crabs. The, the fanged crab boss. Yes, this uh, boss will be kind of tenacious as well, being that we can't hurt him until he opens his eyes, frustratingly enough. But we can double tap him, as you see, when he does open his eyes. Open yo peepa! Come on, seriously. Enough of the clawing and the attacking. There we go. Ah, got hit. It's also double the fun, seeing as how there are two of them. I guess one just isn't enough. You know, if you look really closely, it almost looks like its legs are french fries. Alright, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have even gone there. <laughs> there, finally. Got him down. Now for you. Come on, I know you want a piece. Let's go, boy. Crab monster, open your eye! This is ridiculous. I feel like one of those ducks walking back and forth at a shooting gallery. It's like, seriously, what is he doing? Are you going to attack me or what? Hey! Wake up! About time. Yeah, the reason that fireball usually doesn't hurt you 
and this is theor theor I'm theorizing here. I'm fairly certain this is why. Is because when you when you shoot out the hook shot, you're momentarily invincible. So long as you um, are still in the hook shot animation, I believe that's how it works. Oh, we got three hits on him that time. All right, finally, both crab bosses down, and the portal to the this part of the dungeon is now open. I don't think we want to go that way. Funny enough, we don't have the nightmare key yet. More arrows. I guess they wanted you to fight those uh, crabs with arrows, but it's not like we needed it. Actually, we don't even need the sword at this point. Oh, that's the wrong button combination. There we go. So we need the boss key, because that route is going to take us to the boss. Ah. Alright, so maybe the sword would have been a little more useful there. Let's see here. Wrong map again. Uh, the only three treasure chests left in the dungeon are up here, so... I don't know why I pushed that button. Ah. Alright, got that treasure chest. Fifty more rupees. Happy day. And another small key. And let's hope this is the nightmare key. No? Not the nightmare key? Well, that's interesting. We don't have the nightmare. Oh, well, there are some unexplored places on the map. Well, even so, shouldn't the uh, compass tell us that there's a key there? That was my understanding of how the compass worked. Huh. Alright, well I guess we'll just explore then. No, we don't need to go this way. Yeah, I'm kind of lost here now. I'm trying to think of what we should do. So we just explore this area over here. No? So I guess we don't even need to go anywhere in this area. Let's take those stairs that are going to be to our right here. Boing. Boing. Ow. Still, nothing over here. Now this is gonna take us to the nightmare. Which is not where we want to go. Huh. We're kinda lost. And now we're back here. You know, there was a pond, wasn't there? A pond with water in it, and I was like, oh, it's so obvious we could just swim there and dive in. But I said we didn't want to. Huh. No, it's not over there. Yeah, it's not going to be that way either. Oh, we can't go back, I guess. 